In this video, we will focus on suites within the Common Community Physics Package, or CCPP, introduce the components of a suite, and explain how to add or modify one. A CCPP suite is a set of physics schemes. It's defined by an XML file called a suite definition file, or SDF. The suite definition file describes which schemes are called during a model run, the order in which they are called, whether they are subcycled, and whether they are assembled into groups to be called together, with the possibility of non-physics computation between them. These files are parsed at build time to create a collection of suites for use at runtime. Here's one example of a partial SDF file. The name of the suite is an attribute of the suite XML element and is listed at the top of the SDF. It must be consistent with the name of the SDF file itself. For example, the file suiteabc.xml contains suite name equals abc here. The components of the SDF, or elements of the XML file, include group, subcycle, and schemes. The concept of grouping physics in the SDF, reflected in the group name equals xyz elements, enables groups of parameterizations to be called with other computation in between. These computations can be related to the DICOR, I.O., etc. Each of the groups corresponds to a CCPP run call placed somewhere in the host model. The placement of the CCPP run calls determines the order in which the physics group will be executed with respect to other elements of the host model. In other words, when constructing new suites, the groups can be edited to suit the needs of the host application. For example, if a subset of physics schemes needs to be more tightly connected with the dynamics and called more frequently, one could create a group consisting of that subset and place a CCPP run call in the appropriate place in the host application. The remainder of the parameterization groups could be called using CCPP run calls in a different part of the host application code. The SDF allows subcycling of schemes or calling a subset of schemes with a shorter time step than others. The subcycle loop equals n element in the SDF controls this function. All schemes within such an element are called n times during one CCPP run call. An example of this is found in the fe3gfs v15.2.xml SDF, where the service schemes are executed twice during each physics time step. In this case, the reason for using this capability in this suite is to implement a predictor corrector paradigm in which a scheme is called first to provide a first guess, and then again to provide the final results. Schemes are subdivided between primary, or the actual parameterizations, and interstitial, which work to pre-process or post-process inputs and outputs of the parameterizations, calculate diagnostics, or perform other glue-type functions. The primary schemes include familiar types like radiation, boundary layer, shallow and deep convection, resolved moist physics, gravity wave drag, etc., although there are no official scheme categories recognized in the CCPP. Interstitial schemes can be further divided into two subtypes, scheme-specific and suite-level. The scheme-specific interstitial schemes are used for one specific scheme, whereas suite-level interstitial schemes process data that are relevant for multiple schemes within a suite. The order of the schemes in a group dictates the order in which the schemes are run. Keep in mind that schemes may be interdependent on one another, and the order in which the schemes are run may make a difference in the model's stability and results. Parsing a collection of SDFs and defining the order of schemes for each suite happens at build time. At runtime, you can only choose between those suites that have been built and compiled. So if you would like the option of running multiple times with one executable with the possibility of switching suites, they need to be specified at build time. Here's an example of the suite corresponding to the Global Forecast System version 15.2. The suite name is FE3GFS v15.2. Five groups, fast physics, time vary, radiation, physics, and stochastics are used, because physics needs to be called from different parts of the host model. A detailed explanation of each primary physics scheme can be found in the CCPP scientific documentation. Another example of a supported suite is the one named GFS v16 beta. 
This suite is similar to the GFS V15.2, except that the PBL scheme changes from the GFS Hybrid Eddy Diffusivity Mass Flux scheme to the SAT-M EDMF VDFQ scheme, which computes subgrid vertical turbulent mixing using a scale-aware TKE-based approach. A new suite can be constructed by starting from an existing SDF, changing the name of the suite, and changing other aspects of the file. We encourage you to examine the suites supported for your host model to get an idea about how they vary. Note that only limited support can be provided by the Developmental Testbed Center for the construction of new suites. Therefore, this should only be attempted by advanced users familiar with the variables that need to be communicated between schemes of the new suite. Next, I will describe one example that demonstrates the creation of a new suite with the existing schemes. Suppose you want to use the GFS v15.2 suite, but change the convection representation from the GFS scale-aware mass flux to Guelph Ratus. The first step is to change the suite name, for example, to FE3 GFS v15.2 GF. The second step is to replace the shallow and deep convective schemes associated with scale-aware mass flux, which are called SAMF deep CNV and SAMF shallow CNV respectively with their grell freitas counterparts. In this case, the grell freitas shallow and deep convective schemes are included in a single scheme, the CUGF driver, so two schemes are replaced by one. Additionally, the grell freitas scheme requires the use of two additional interstitial schemes, CUGF driver pre and CUGF driver post to the group. They need to be added to the physics group before and after CUGF driver. Finally, the file should be saved as suite fe3 gfs v15.2 gf.xml to be consistent with the suite name. Remember that only the suites included at build and compile time will be available at runtime. If you create one or more new suite definition files, you need to make sure that they are provided when you build and compile. Another thing to remember is that there has to be compatibility between the suite definition file and the model name list. In the unified forecast system and the CCPP single column model, the name list is located in file input.nml. In our first example, in which the GFS scale-aware mass flux scheme was substituted with the grell freitas scheme, IMF shall CNV and IMF deep CNV must be changed from 2 to 3. For further information, you can refer to the online CCPP documentation. You can also submit questions to the Developmental Testbed Center help desk, or if using CCPP with the UFS, post your questions on the UFS forum.